Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SM PDX3 Amplified Edition, and today we are going to have a little talk at the start of this, and that is beautiful over there. Wait, load in, load in. I wanted to show you the beautiful bit of fluff build. Beautiful fluff building coming. It's not gonna load in, is it? Come on, refresh, load in. Yes, there we go, the beautiful fluff build over there. That is amazing. Fluff, congratulations, you have made a beautiful build. But in today's episode, my friends, we are going to have a little talk to start things off. Whoa, what is this? This isn't Toby. Yes, it is. This is my new skin. I am going to be straying away from my green monster for a little bit. And I'm going to be sticking with this little medieval kind of crazy little guy with a beard thing. I'm going to stick with this for a bit. I did not make this skin. I found it online. So, yeah, I'm not this talented as Fluff. Who makes his own skins, but I'm going to be sticking with this one for a bit and then go back to my other one. Maybe in the future, maybe not, but I'm going to be leaving my little green persona for a bit. That is because I have started up my Lord of the Rings series again and I'm using this skin in that. And I thought, why not just continue using it in SMPDX as well? Considering, I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. Like, I quite like it. We've been, we haven't been on here in ages. Three weeks, three or four weeks since we haven't uploaded the last episode. So we've got lots of stuff going on. We've got Quirky's area up there. Blades Tree Farm, I believe. Every, Fluff, of course, built his area. Nano's built his bridge, finally. Everything's going amazingly. And in today's episode, I am going to be telling you that... You know, in last episode, we started my main base. And I put main base in inverted commas because yeah I, I did I was kind of rude with my main base our idea for this series was to stay around spawn town then I go 5,000 blocks out and start my main base over there and I also realized I bit off way more than I can chew with the time I have because I do not have time to actually do this main base that we've started so we're going to put that on hold we're going to pause that until I get more time and we're actually going to continue work on our little area here with our cottage. We're going to be, instead of living in the cottage, we're still going to live in the cottage. But up over here, we are going to be building a kind of manor house up uh, just here. Because under Bla you see where Bladestone's thing's coming down? In this gap here. Just broke a torch. I'll put that back. Uh, up over here, we are going to be building a manor house, which is going to sort of be the face of a house. And then the rest of it's going to extend to underground. And I'm envisioning having walkways going different places into the hills and tunnels and lots of cool stuff. So I'm going to be building that in this area. And we're going to have a little... I'm, I'm, you know how Fluff's area, I don't know, you can't see it anymore. Because it's out of render system. But it had that, uh, it had a little uh, balcony kind of area at the base of it. Like a little walkway that goes down. I'm going to have something similar. Oh, by the way, this area here, me and Nano... Literally, just before recording this, we teared down the big spike that was here so we could get, so he could get a better view of my manor house that I'm going to build there, and I can get a better view out of Spawn Town, but can't really see. Well, you can kind of see that little bit there. Fluff's got like a little walkway going in front of it. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, at this sort of height here, have ourselves a walkway as well. Then we're going to push that back, push that whole face back a bit. And then build a manor house on there and terraform this overhang, taper down a bit. I may speak to Bladestone, may see if we want to remove that or keep that there if he wants to build on it. I don't mind. But yeah, we've got lots to do in this episode. So I think the best place probably to start is by start off by doing the walkway and pushing that back a bit. And then we'll get back with you when we have sort of made some progress on that. Okay, so we have built this little platform thing. I actually really like this. It actually turned out a lot better than I expected it to. Redirected the waterfall a little bit just so it comes out there instead of up where that wood pillar is. And I pushed the back wall back quite a fair ways. And that is basically where the house is going to go. I'm thinking that this is what's going to happen. I'm thinking the roof is going to be very significant. I'm thinking a peak that comes down and sort of swoops out to the edge. And swoops out to the edge with walkways under it on either side with the main bit. And then there's another roof here. And more peaks and stuff. It's going to be good. And then on either side of the walkway, there's going to be openings where that's how you basically get up. And this this bit here may actually come into play a little bit. I may build a little thing here. Uh, there's Nano's place over there. But, yeah, I'll just show you what we have done over here so far. So, the actual walkway itself is really quite simple. Just some stone bricks and walks and stuff 
and then you've got this stone slab walkway here. It looks nice, you get a great view out of it. I mean, it, when the my render distance gets turned up, when I get a better computer, I mean, look, look at that bridge up there. Loon, good job with that bridge there. It's got a lovely curve on it. But anyway, looking just over, we get a great view from up here, and you can imagine there's going to be an opening here, and an opening here that you can run through, and they will take you off to different places. There'll be the manor house entrance here, with its big swooping roofs. I don't know if I'm going to have to take that up anymore, depending on how big it goes. And then there'll be little entrances there and there that will take us off different places as well. And this will all obviously get pushed back when the actual structure is in place and we actually start building a room. But yeah, it's a good start. I love this little walkway bit. It's exactly what I wanted to have out the front, just looking over places. May have to sort that out. That doesn't look particularly good there. But yeah. Everything's going well, and I'm loving to be back into vanilla building rather than modded uh, Lord of the Rings at the moment. We'll get back to that shortly as well, of course, but building in vanilla is always good fun. SMPDX is still chugging along nicely, and I do apologise this episode has taken a hell of a long time to release because I've been away, I've been busy, I've been doing plenty of things this summer that have cause for being busy, so... Yeah, I'm making this two days before I go back to school, and then uploads will go down the drain as well because of school. Oh, it's a busy time of the year. It certainly is. But anyway, let's get on with building sort of a framework for this manor house and getting this done. I made to build the frame and the roofs, and then these archways here, and then we'll come back and do the detailing and the actual walls and stuff later. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so as you can see, we have got some more framework done. We just plonk our bed down and sleep in just a second. There we go. Get the night time out of our way. Nano is online, I do believe, doing something or other. So I hope he doesn't mind us sleeping. There we go. He, I think he's over in his tower, maybe. He's online somewhere. Anyway, as you can see, we have got the framework done. I, yeah, you can see what I mean by crazy roofs and stuff. These little bits there and there, they're going to be walkways. We're going to have entrances in there with walkways. I'll do them in a minute. But yeah, I'm really liking how it's looking. Uh, it definitely does look good. And from out over here on these trees, it's looking pretty spectacular under this little overhang here. That is kind of annoying me because it's not terraformed. I may terraform that a little bit. But I may just leave it because it doesn't look too bad because the build is what's distracting from it. But it certainly looks very good. And we're going to continue the stone brick and grey concrete theme uh, throughout the build. So when we get the details in, you'll that will become very apparent. we got Bladestone up here. This is his path up there. So we may actually connect his path up. Not sure yet. But yeah, we're basically going to be uh, finishing this off probably in the next clip or so. And yeah, in the next couple clips. But that should be the episode. It's going to be probably a little bit of a shorter one today. Just getting this little uh, thing done, and when this is done, it should be all good. I don't see Nano. Where is Nano? I don't see a Nano name tag either. Oh, yes, I do. There he is. Should we go see if we can surprise Nano? I think that'd be smart. Let's go and fish slap him. Dun, 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 Thorn thorns thorns I feel really bad. Oh no, Nano. I'm gonna help him get his stuff back. See you in the next clip. Okay, so I have finished this build so far. We have, of course, not done the interior yet. That is coming in the next episode, but you can see doors up there. But we have actually finished all of the details and stuff with it and these little walkway entrances because these are where the walkways are actually going to be going down to link up with the base down below because currently my way of getting up is to jump into the waterfall, swim up and sort of jump around. But as you can see, we have got... A similar te theme to this where it's mostly stone bricks and uh, grey concrete. We've got light grey banners in here as well. And also light grey glass. Thank you to Nano for giving us that. Because it was originally supposed to be black glass. But I had got absolutely no glass. Because I used all my sand to make the concrete. And Nano happened to have some 
uh, light grey glass planes um, kicking around. So he lent me them and gave me them. And as you can see, it's looking rather beautiful. These bits here are also walkways that are going to go to different areas of the build. And yeah, it's just lovely big sort of manor house kind of build. And now it's all come together. I think it's absolutely amazing. So there's no better way... Uh, to see this than actually to go over to this little place here, this little viewing area, I guess you could call it. And this is probably where you get the best view of the build um, from over on these trees over here. Because, as you can see, it is absolutely magnificent when you look at it over here. I am really proud with this build. I really love how it looks. And these windows are a little strange, I know. Uh, that was just an odd shape that we created by the frame. But so far, it's actually looking absolutely incredible. I mean, we should probably just jump down and have a bit of a sleep to get it back to daytime. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, yeah, and I also apologise that it's been kind of a shorter episode this episode. I couldn't really help that, considering uh, just how much time this actually took to do off-camera. There wasn't too much I could actually record. But yeah, you can see how it's supposed to look and how it does look i love what i what i love most about this build is it's a build where i've actually done something adventurous with the roofs for once because i usually don't go too adventurous with the roofs as you can see looking down here at my three builds i've got got very standard roof very standard roof and extremely standard roof down there i haven't got any sort of crazy roofs and here we just have some amazing shapes we've got a peak that go into a curve that go into a li another little peak over the walkways and we got and now where the balcony bit is we got another curves down either side that then branch into these straight bits and then we got another peak with a curve that sort of mirrors the top one just in a shorter bit i just love how this looks and i love that i love the symmetry of it even though i don't like building symmetrical most of the time i love how this build is symmetrical i am gonna have to sort this bit out though but i love it i, I think it looks great and yeah, there's not much else I really need to say other than I need to build this walkway that will go down and sort of come out and connect to this path here. And this one's going to sort of come down and come out to here, I think it will. I think it'll be a good idea if we have it come out to there. Why is there path blocks there? Makes absolutely no sense. We'll try and make this come out here. And then this can go and join up down somewhere else. But basically, yeah, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Uh, this has literally only taken one day to actually put together and build from designing it, so I'm extremely happy. Just I just realised I missed something in the build, so we get to build on camera for you guys. I actually missed a part of the build, could you believe that? So this is how we're going to fix it. It's up by the balcony, so we'll be able to go up on the balcony and I'll explain everything. So there's a walkway, as you can see. Uh, the walkways are just under here. But if we just jump up here, we can jump down to here. And it was just these corners. They're supposed to have these cobble walls going up them. There we go. But yeah, you can see that... I mean, it's quite these. It's quite dark at the moment. I think that's actually supposed to be... Do I have any glowstone on me? No, I don't. That block's there supposed to be a, bl a glowstone to light that up. I'll sort that out in a minute. But you can see we've got... Basically, we've got these windows down the bottom with a big open entrance and windows either side of course this is all going to get dug out obviously and then up here we got more windows either side and then balcony in the middle and then we got these walkways either side that have a little bit of glowstone in them for lighting but yeah that's just a these little walkways are quite nice uh just to be able to go out on because they're kind of like balconies as well like the top one but these actually lead into the walls as well so they go somewhere and, yeah, it's, it's just quite a nice build because not only is it um, typical as a build of mine just to be one door, windows, uh, fluff was here one minute. No oh, crap. Okay, thanks for that fluff. <laughs> um, I wasn't quite expecting to see that when I fell down. Uh, well, ignore that. But yeah, it's, it's a typical build of mine to use the uh, spruce wood stone brick combo. That was basically my old build theme last season, but it worked here. It works nicely here, and it suits these builds quite nicely as well. And because I used the oak wood in the walkway at the front, it's quite nice. But as you can see, it's just nice to be able to have a build that isn't organic as just being a square with a triangle on top. 
as a being a house. It's got nice shapes to it. It's got a lovely framework that is quite apparent with the framing, which is very nice. And I always start by doing the framing first. And since I got the frame right, it just means everything else flowed well with the entire build. And yeah, it just looks nice. It looks grand. It It's different. It's not typical. It's I like it. I'm very proud of it, basically. And this is going to be basically my main storage area because I remember Loon. I don't remember if this was a video or just when we were in the Discord or something, but I remember him coming over here and saying I he that he expected a much prettier storage area than this for my base. Little did he know this was that that was a more of a challenge than a expectation. What he actually ended up saying, I didn't take it as like. Oh, maybe I should, yeah, storage isn't going to be my priority. That, that was just a challenge, so my storage area, just wait, this is what this big mana thing is going to be for. It's going to be storage, but it's not just going to be storage, it's going to be bulk storage as well. So we're going to have uh, big bulk cactus storage, and I'm going to run a bit of an item elevator from the cactus farm I built down there up here, and this is zombie. So I'm going to run a bit of an item line up here. And I'm also going to have various different farms in here, like sugarcane, melon, pumpkin. That will fill up various bulk storage areas in the future. And it's just going to be amazing. I can't wait to do it. But I think that's enough rambling from me today. I've just got a couple things I would like to say to anyone watching these SMPDX episodes. If you have come from my Lord of the Rings series that I've recently restarted and is by far my most popular series on the channel... This is slightly different. This is where you get to see my creative side in Minecraft rather than my exploration side. And I hope you do enjoy this and also continue to enjoy Lord of the Rings. I'm going to try and keep it at a balance between the two on the channel if I can. These episodes just take far longer to do than those ones. And if you are an SMPDXer who hasn't, well, a person who watches SMPDX or an SMPDXer in fact who hasn't started watching my Lord of the Rings series, it's very different to this. It's just a complete hour-long uncut episode, a bit like a live stream of me going and exploring the world of Middle-earth to all of my viewers. And yeah, it's a completely different side of how I play Minecraft. If you didn't know already, I've also got a community Discord. Please come by and say hello on there. It's always lovely to see people there. If you have any ideas for what I should build or what I should do on the SMPDX server, please leave a comment down below. Other than that, please leave a like and, of course, do subscribe if you're not already. I may be going back to my Toby skin soon, but for now I'm sticking as this guy. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. See you all next time.